Hello creators! In this video I'm going to show you how I use an AI art generator to sell print-on-demand products on my Etsy shop using my designs. So let's jump right in. The first thing we need to do once we log into our My Designs account is to navigate to the Listings tab which you'll find here on the left side menu. Once here you need to create a collection and if you don't know how to do that you can click this home button next to listings at the top and you'll see here there's an add folder button. I've already got a collection created that I did ahead of time. Uh, it's right here called AI art for POD. I'll go ahead and open that. The next step is to go to our dream AI here where we can actually generate images um, from AI. So I've already generated a couple ahead of time as well to save some time, but you can see my prompt here. And these are some of the results I got. And I really like this one here um, and this one as well. So maybe we'll go ahead and just select this one. And then I'm gonna go ahead and um, save to listings. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it at don't upscale I'm going to save it to the collection I just told you about, which is AI dog, or excuse me, AI for art for POD down here. I'm going to create a new listing and I'm going to save this file to my main file slot. So once I have that all mapped, all I have to do is click save to listings. Yes, store images. Now I could continue to add some more images if, you, if I would like to, but I'm just going to use one for an example, but you could really do this with as many um, AI generated images as you would like. So now I'm going to go back to our listings tab and you'll see this image that we generated with um, AI is right here and ready to be used, but it has a black background on it. So we first need to get rid of that. Um, so we'll go ahead and select this listing. We'll go to all actions. And then under image utilities, you'll find remove background. We'll go ahead and select that. The input file slot is just the image that you want to remove the background on. The output file slot is any file slot that you would like. I'm actually going to select the same file because I want to override it. Um, you can generate a preview if you would like, or you can just click remove background. I don't need to generate a preview, so I'm going to go ahead with that. And it'll take just a second before it's done. Now this is what the results look like. I think it's fantastic. The background was removed wonderfully. And now I can go ahead and use this image to um, create some print on demand products. The example that I'm going to be showing you today is going to be a sticker, but the same concept can be applied to t-shirts, hoodies, sweatshirts, um, all, all print on demand products you'd like. Um, so the next step is to go ahead and select our canvas system. So it'll pull up this window here and then I'm going to add the listing file, which is our main file we had, to this um, canvas. Next, I'm going to go ahead and select the template. And I'm going to be doing a sticker, like I said. Uh, we'll use this holographic die cut sticker. If you were doing t-shirts, you would come and find a t-shirt um, template here, or a hoodie, etc. You would just go find the correct template so that you can make sure your print file was set up in the um, right way. So I'll select holographic die cut sticker. Next, I do want to make this image just a little bit bigger. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, and then let's add some text to this as well. So um, we can go to the text tab here. Um, you, can, you can select any of these you would like, but you can actually change the, um, the font here as well. Um, we have the entire Google font library and we'll also have the ability for you to add your own font soon as well. Um, I'm going to change the text color to black so that we can see it on this transparent background. And then I'm going to increase the font size to about 150. Um, I'm going to expand this out so that it goes to the edges of this. And then we're just going to go ahead and center it. So next I just want to change the text here and I'm just going to say something like dog mom. Um, a lot of people do or buy designs like this to say dog mom and then has a portrait of their type of pet. I have a mini golden doodle personally, which is why I'm using this one as an example. But once again, like I said, anything you could think of, you could put here. This is just an example I'm showing you. Once we have this all exactly how we want it, all we have to do is to go ahead and click save. And then I'm going to save this to our main file once again and override it. I'm going to select PNG as the format. Um, and it, you can also sell personalized files or um, products, excuse me, by clicking the Save as Editable button. If I was to save it in that way, this would allow me to come and change this text to anything I wanted before submitting the file to our print partners. I'm not going to do that now, but if you were creating a personalized product, that's how you would do it. So now I'm going to just go ahead and click save. Yes, overwrite the file once again. 
as I don't need this original one. Once that's done, I'll show you what it looks like. Now that it's done, this is what our print file looks like. And obviously I could make it stand out a little more and make it better. But like I said, for this video, I'm just showing you an example of how to do it. I probably wouldn't actually sell this on a product. Um, now that we have the print file though, our next step is to just go ahead and get some mockups done. So we can create some mockups by going to the mockups tab here. We'll go ahead and click that and then click create image mockup. We're gonna be selling stickers for this example, like I said, so we'll select that as the category. And a holographic sticker is what we selected, but really we could sell this on several different types of stickers on one single listing. Uh, for this example though, like I said, I am just going to do holographic. I'm gonna turn on multi-product mockups here so that I can generate them all at a single time and not have to do it individually. So now I can just select a couple of these holographic ones I have here. Um, maybe we'll go ahead and do a laptop one as well. I think four should be plenty and then we'll go ahead and remove the t-shirt that's there by default. And now we'll see what these all look like as soon as they're generated. So I'm going to click generate mockups. Once that's done, I'll show you what they look like. So those are now done and it took about 30 seconds to generate those four. So I think those mockups look fantastic. It's just showing you guys an idea of what you can um, do with AI, how easy it is to sell on products using my designs. Um, from here, all we have to do is go and input our data and then we're ready to publish this listing as a sticker um, to be sold on our Etsy shop. So to generate data, we have a new feature that we call Vision AI. It actually just analyzes your image and then it creates your title, tags, and description for you based off of that. So I'm gonna show you how that works. We just wanna click Vision AI. Our input file slot is going to be the image that we want it to read. Our product type is going to be a sticker here. I um, mean, or excuse me, there's a sticker right here. So this is what we want. And then we'll go ahead and generate a title, description, and tags. Uh, we can include the product features, which we'll just go find our sticker again, the holographic die sticker. Um, and then we'll go ahead and just click generate listing data. And yes, run Vision AI. As soon as that's done, I'll show you the results. That took about 10 seconds to finish these results and I think they are absolutely incredible. If you wanna take a moment to pause the video, you can read through these um, these the results that we got from Vision AI, but I think the tags and title are fantastic. And the description as well is a lot better than something that I could personally write. So once we have everything done like this, all we have to do is go through the publishing process. I'm not gonna go show you how to do that, but it's very simple. Um, once you go through the publishing process, it's on your Etsy shop ready to be sold. I hope everything in this video made sense. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for future My Designs content.